Hello and welcome guests to another episode of the Eldritch Vault, backed by Killarney House Productions. Join me in exploring the many fascinatingly horrible monsters within the Fallout universe which thrive in a world no longer dominated by mankind. Strap on your bib, tonight we'll be covering the malevolent and terrifying Wendigo, because I'm sure you'd hate to spill human blood on those Vault Boy pajamas. Don't forget to give a like and leave your thoughts in the comments below, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe and notification buttons and we'll feed your insatiable video YouTube lust. Appearing more dead than alive, the Wendigo is a humanoid creature manifested from the depths of the human mind as the paragon of unnatural enmity and gluttony. This legend, and therefore likely the creature itself, actually existed before the bombs fell. Created by violating the natural law of sacred ground, the consumption of human flesh is the most common explanation for the transition from human to monster. The Wendigo can be found throughout Appalachia as a random spawn, crowned mob, or even a featured creature. Its seeming commonality should not overshadow the danger it poses, however. Its long gnarled claws, terrifying speed, and soul-rending scream are only a few of the Wendigo's favorite ways to capture its next meal. The Wendigo's Cave is one location where the player can reliably find at least one of these fiends, and it is guaranteed to be a unique version of the creature. The progenitor Wendigo's name implies that it is the first, or at least a sire, to many of the other Wendigo we see. Depending on the origination of Fallout's version, it is possible that this Wendigo alone carried its curse into the post-war world. Within the Wendigo's cave, one can see many personal objects such as bikes, toys, and apparel. Whether washed in by the rain or dragged in with their previous owners, these items serve to dial up the scare factor when exploring the labyrinth of fungus-covered caverns. Wendigo can be found throughout post-apocalyptic Appalachia and Bethesda's Fallout 76. There is real-world folklore, however, which provides the fearsome Wendigo with its names and attributes. Existing in the stories of many Algonquin-speaking North Native American tribes, the Wendigo exists as an inhuman symbol of greed, hunger, and the taboo. As the holotape found in the Wendigo cave retells, the story of the Wendigo begins with people seeking shelter from harsh winter conditions. The story goes on to describe desperate starvation and a seemingly endless winter, in this case caused by nuclear fallout. Other notes and tapes within the cave detail the euphoria of the never-glutted raider who recently ate his wife. Both this story and those found in the holotapes at the Gormon's headquarters reveal that the urge to consume uncooked human flesh will inevitably drive one to eat those they love. Still famished, however, the subject of the Wendigo's curse cannot learn from their gory appetites and instead it drives them deeper into madness. Basil Johnston describes the appearance of a Wendigo as Gaunt to the point of emaciation, its desiccated skin pulled tightly over its bones. With its bones pushing out against its skin, its complexion the ash gray of death, and its eyes pushed back deep into their sockets, the Wendigo looked like a gaunt skeleton recently descended from the grave. What lips it had were tattered and bloody, unclean and suffering from separations of the flesh. The Wendigo gave off a strange and eerie odor of decay and decomposition, of death and corruption. When considering 76's Appalachia, there isn't really anything too unique about the consumption of human flesh. Ghouls, scorched, Raiders and many mutated beasts feast upon the haggard survivors of nuclear holocaust, and Wendigo can often be found among other man-eaters such as Mirelurks, Ghouls, or Scorched. There are many contemporary renditions of the Wendigo in popular media. From Supernatural to Until Dawn, the Wendigo has become a feature of Americanized horror. It personifies the taboo and primal avarice in human nature embodied in the living decay which can only be sustained through the ravenous consumption of the living. Bridging the gap between fictional zany apocalypse and the real world myth, the Wendigo may be the most successfully adapted cryptid to the Fallout universe.
Thanks again for watching the Eldritch Vault. See you next time when we unearth the mystery buried at the Lucky Hole Mine. Follow me on Twitter and check out other Killarney House production content.